Can you talk to me about the time you went out to meet Oprah? Oh man, that was uh, that was a beautiful moment, man. And that you know that moment kind of sparked me getting into speaking as well because it was confirmation for me. Like I would get up every morning, present. I would get dressed. You know, my wife would be getting dressed to go to work, and I'll be going to look for a job. Right? I would get dressed, go out the door, and people would tell me whatever they would tell me, whether it's overqualified, whatever. And I knew part of it was I got a paralyzed right on my hand, and it's cool, right? Like I'm built for it. I ain't gonna hold it against them. And so around that time, I had my book, and that was the only thing I had. And I get up one morning, and I tell my wife as she's getting dressed in the mirror. And I say, babe, I'm going to meet Oprah. Take open my book. And my wife, you know, she was like, you know Oprah? And I was like, nah. She, she was like, okay. She's like, you know somebody at Harpo Studios? I was like, nah. And she was like, okay. She was like, you sure you want to do this? I was like, yes, ma'am. She was like, go for it. Hold on, Ig, hold on. Yeah. We just ain't going to gloss yeah. over this. Yeah. You telling me yeah. you woke up and out the clear blue sky because yes, I know a lot of people who wrote books. No doubt. But I don't know one who said, I'm going to meet Oprah. Yeah, man. No. Where did this even come from? Was yeah. this something that God just laid on your heart? Yeah. Were you just like, look, look, look I'm going to just throw the, the, the fishing line out there and see what comes back? Yeah, man, because, you know, part of it was it got put on my heart. But also, like I told you, when I got back to Atlanta, I was in such a place of confusion. I needed that confirmation that God was still walking with me. Mm -hmm. And so the, the, the second part of it was, OK, it's on my heart. I'm not going to ignore it. I'm going to go for it. And if I go for it and it happens, this is confirmation from God that, Inc., I still got you. Right. Like I'm, I'm still walking with you. And so it was twofold. It was, okay, God placed it on my heart. But also it was, man, let me see if God is still walking with me, right? And so when it happened, and my wife, you know, me and my wife been at it since fifth grade. And so, you know, for her to see me like that, the average woman will probably be like, man, you tripping. Because we didn't have no money like that. You know, like I probably had like almost $300 to my name in a 2X suit. You know, and so when I took off, it was, it was real. It was an act of faith. Yeah. Okay, so you go out to, is this back when Oprah still had her show? Yeah, this is back when she was in Chicago, yeah. Did I you, drove. Hold on, because I was about to ask you, did you fly? Nah, I drove, man. I left Atlanta. I get to Chattanooga, I call my buddy Jeff. He was an attorney in Knoxville. He pick up, I said, Jeff, you're not gonna believe it. Jeff was like, what you got, Ink? I was like, man, I'm headed to meet Oprah to give her the book. Jeff was like, Ink, you know Oprah? And I was like, nah. He was like, okay, Ink, I know what this is. And he was an older gentleman, he's an attorney, he does well for himself. And he was like, I know you're extremely ambitious. He's like, Ink, but I want you to call me when you get to Knoxville because chances of this happening is a long shot. And I don't want you to be too disappointed when it doesn't happen. And I called him when I got to Knoxville and he picked up and he said, you still going, aren't you? I was like, yep. He said, stop by and pick me up, man. I'm going to ride with you. So you don't be too disappointed. And we get there that night. How long is that trip, by the way? Oh, man. What was that trip? Atlanta to Chicago? What that is it? Around the corner. Nah, I, don't, I can't even remember how many hours it was. I remember I left that morning. I got up that night. Got up there that night. Wow. And, and we checked into the hotel, and Jeff was like, Ink, you want me to get you a room? I was like, nah, I sleep on a cot in your room. And next morning, we get up, and I go to the front desk, and I'm asking them little questions about directions and stuff like that. And Jeff is standing in the corner, and he's getting ready to work out. And when I go to walk out of the door, head to the studio, he's like, Ink, wait, I'm going to go with you. He's like, I'll get us a taxi. Like, I'm sure it won't be that long, right? And when we pull up, there's people everywhere. This is when her last shows were happening. Mm -hmm. And we get out of the car. I got on my suit. I got the book. Jeff was like, I'm going to go across the street. He's like, Ink, I'm sure I'll be seeing you in a minute. I'm going to go get me a cup of coffee. 
And I'm telling you, Prez, I would walk around the building and every door that would open, I would try to rush in and be like, hey, I'm Inky Johnson. I came up from Atlanta with my book. And they was like, get out of here. We don't do that. And I was like, man, y'all rude. I'm like, bro, I thought y'all give away cars. Like, I got a book. You know what I'm saying? Like, let me just give them a book. And I'll never forget, man, I got so discouraged. I went around, it was like the back of the building. And I sat down and I was like, man, God, like, I thought it was you, man. Like, my wife gonna chew me out. And at this point, everybody has went into the building. And I get up and I'm walking around the side and it looks to be like a homeless gentleman sitting on the curb. And I sit down beside him and I said, man, how you doing? He was like, I'm great. He said, how are you? I said, man, I've seen better days, like the irony of the situation. And I get up and I go to walk down the sidewalk and coming toward me was Oprah and her security guard. And I'm like, here you shot. I'm like, surely when I go up, a security guard just go. So you literally, hold up. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So you literally sitting down on the curb, stressed. Yeah, feel like man. I just blew all my money, yeah, all man. this time, and yep. you look up, and there she is. There she is, with her security guard coming right down the same sidewalk I'm on. And had you not walked to the back of the building, you would have missed her. Probably would have had I not sat down to it. My man probably had missed her. Yeah. Tell me God ain't real. But go ahead. Yeah, and I get up and I'm approaching her, but I'm thinking security gonna move me out of the way, but I, I gotta take my shot. And sure enough, they never stop and I'm walking. And as soon as I get like right in front of her, I was like, hey, I'm Inky Johnson. I drove up from Atlanta. I want to give you my book. And she grabbed it. She was like, oh, thank you. And I was like, can I take a picture with you? She was like, sure. And she started touching my suit. I always tell people she touched my suit. And she was like, this is a nice suit, right? And I always tell people, I think she's trying to see if I had something in my jacket, right? <laughs> and I was like, thank you. And I take the picture. And she was like, all right, I got to get in and do my show. And my boy Jeff was running. And he was like, ain't tell her to wait. I was like, nah, you didn't believe, right? <laughs> and so I go to walk off. Perez and her security guard says to me, he's like, hey, little man, wait real quick. Come here. And I go back up to him and he says to me, I'm not telling you you're going to be on a show. He said, I'm not telling you you're going to be on a book club. I'm not saying any of that. He said, I just want you to know what just happened never happens. He said, usually she'll send me up, say, hey, get him out of the way. Tell him to send it here and she'll never get it. He said, I'm not telling you anything is going to come of it. I just want you to know the encounter you just had, it never happens. I said, thank you, man, I greatly appreciate it. And I sent the picture out, friends, family, I put it on Facebook. Everybody responded, ain't you gonna be on the show? You gonna be on the book club? I was like, man, I don't know. I was like, I really don't care. And you know, at that point, everybody was like, what you mean you don't care? I was like, that wasn't about that for me. It was like, what you mean it wasn't about that? I was like, that moment wasn't about that. And what it was, was it was God just showing me like, Ink, I got you. Like if I can take you from Kirkwood in Atlanta, you wake up one morning and you going to meet Oprah and I can put you front and center, put your book in Oprah's hand, take a picture with Oprah. Like I got you, right? And from that point, it was like, God, let's go, man. Like it was confirmation that God was still walking with me. The same God that was walking with me from the time I was seven years old in that two bedroom home with 14 people was the same God when I got injured at 20 years old, sent me back to Atlanta and I was confused, feeling like, God, what am I doing back here? And so for me, it was just a moment of confirmation and clarity. What's up guys? Thanks for sticking with me to the end of the video. Truly appreciate you. If you like anything you heard here today, go ahead and hit that subscribe button. And if you know anybody that can benefit from this message, feel free to share. Peace and love.